Greetings everyone, Carl here and welcome to Metroid Zero Mission Part 5 for my 100% playthrough Gotta generate a science bar here to enter uh, another secret room in Ridley Diagonal spark here to save time if you fail this room, you gotta reset it, you gotta go back out the door. And that's just the way most puzzle rooms are like in Ridley. On those two white blocks, just then, when you grab onto them, wall jump before you grab on, or store, somehow find a way to store before you grab onto them. Otherwise they will deconstruct and let cause the cameras to fall down before she even reaches the mystery. The tight window for that jump is very very small. The best way to become more consistent at doing it is just through, through practice and after practicing several times you get a feel for it. Screw attack is very useful in this room. Second pipe here just then is a missile. Before you enter the next room, maybe farm enemies. Uh, if you don't have like a uh, super missile left, farm some enemies just then. Hopefully they give you a super missile drop. Because to access this super missile, you need a super missile. For this pillar, in case if you fall down, you can generate a shine spark from the bottom of the room, shine spark up and the right end of the room When I jump back up just then I should have on morph and then Grab the ledge on the right, get back up. But I fell down, so I have to take the ball cannon. Can use a charge beam or missile to kill that devil. I attempted to do a uh, fast idol. Basically, you shoot a super missile as soon as it opens its eye. But I didn't do that quite so successfully. But I did manage to get through anyways. Coming up is a boss fight against Ridley. I think the reason why Ridley is very easy because it's intended to make him more doable if you take the 15% or less Wow. Then he does become a fair bit more difficult. However, by that logic, Corin becomes crazy difficult doing the 15% route. Wow. Because Toy is everything is so deadly in Toy. So I'm not sure oh, why really is easy.
Don't hold a charge beam here. In case that Zevo came up, I would have killed it and would not be able to use freeze it as a platform. These owls, you can farm them for super missile drops. They do have a decent chance. You do want to farm super missile drops. So then you can skip refills. Because we're going to head into Tor and in Tor you want to have as many super missiles as possible. Just then, pause before you jump over the pit, otherwise you fall down and get taken get hit by those zebos. I think they were zebos. Hit stand right at the tangled wire mesh or tangled vegetation on the ground just then. You stand a bit too far back, you'll bonk and lose the shine spark. There are multiple ways to do this. This is not one of them. I obviously I bombed. I went I wasn't far back enough before I started the force bar. Now back a bit further so I'm guaranteed to bomb, not bomb. In the transition, I held down and then do hold a direction left or right to jump in the air without doing activating the shine spot. The shine spot activates when you do a neutral jump. Here remember to pick up long beam if you didn't pick it or just head straight up. Uh, those trees I should have killed it even though a couple of times yeah, uh, I did make it past them without getting hit so then I can try and spark straight towards straight across the room just then. But for, for consistency just kill those trees. When fighting Metroids in Torian, try to keep as much health as possible so then they are more likely to give you missile drops rather than health drops and you will want more whistle drops. And don't get grabbed like that, that was stupid of me. And by the way, if you do get grabbed, just place a bomb, don't move, let the bomb do its thing. And don't place multiple bombs. If you do that, then your bomb could knock you back up into the Metroid, and that will get and you get grabbed again.
Also, keep in mind to keep have at least four missiles, four super missiles on you before you head to fight Mobile Brain. I'm just playing a bit safe. Like I am keeping having at least keep myself to having at least five super missiles in case I did a miss import and miss a super missile. That's it for part 5, thank you for watching, have a nice day.